please tear off the film before using. All right, so there's a reset button here, micro USB port, mounting point, mounting point, speaker, micro SD card slot, camera. After a long week of building this deck, I think that video will be out Tuesday. It's nice to have something that I enjoy doing and that's nice and easy for me. Special thanks to our friends over at GNCC who were nice enough to send us their new indoor camera. As you can see, this is a full HD 1080p indoor camera. Very, very small in size. So of course, we'll get on the overhead rig, we'll go through the unboxing, then we'll download their app, go through the setup, and I'll even show you some daytime and nighttime footage directly from this GNCC indoor camera. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch, and let's check out this GNCC indoor camera. The GNCC indoor cam. You can see this camera has night vision, two-way audio, real-time alerts, cloud or store locally, voice detection, it's full HD 1080p, and it works with Google as well as Alexa. Just their logo on the top, nothing on the bottom. This side just shows their GNCC app that you download. You can scan this QR code to get it. This side talks about the night vision, two-way audio, the local storage, etc. So you can use a micro SD card or cloud storage, and it has easy setup. Back just tells you what's inside the box, and this is the model GC2. Let's open it up. Break our little seal. Let's take a look at this camera. What's that? Nice. Like the uh, little unboxing here. You got a little user's manual on top. Looks like it's pretty detailed. Not bad. And looks like the next thing is the actual camera. Wow, look at that. Little square. Nice. So it's just cardboard and then uh, some accessories. Nothing else in the box. So in our accessories box, likely be our stand, cable, yep. It's using a micro USB cable. It's not using USB-C, so there's your power cable. Wait, wait, wait. Now that's it for that box. So here's the little stand. Nice and simple, I like that. They do include a power brick. And this looks to be some double-sided tape, so you could use this double-sided tape to mount this uh, if you wanted to mount it on the wall or something. So here's the actual camera. Micro USB port on the back. Looks like your stand plugs right into here or pops right into here. Your SD card slots here on the side. Please tear off the film before using. All right. So there's a reset button here. Micro USB port, mounting point, mounting point, speaker, micro SD card slot, camera. I think I'm going to just pop this into place. It just literally pops in. There we go. Wow, I like that size. That's a pretty darn good size, I think. So let's uh, get out our phone. Let's download our GNCC app, hook this up, and go through the setup process. So this is the app you'll need. Download this app, create you an account, log in, and then we can set it up. Take a look at our cable. How long is it? I'd say about a four foot cable. Plug this into here, and then this in the power, and then uh, just plug this into the back of here. We got a red light, we have power. So this is what their screen looks like. We just click add device, location permission, sure. Then it asks us what device we want to set up. So we have an indoor camera and we have the C, so we have the C2. And then you can do QR code or hotspot. We're gonna try the QR code. Select QR code, red light is flashing. We'll type in our Wi-Fi password. And with our Wi-Fi password type in, we'll select next. Then it shows us this QR code that we scan with the camera. It worked. So we'll click next. Now it's going through the process of basically giving the SSID and password I put into the phone to the camera so the camera can connect to the internet directly. 90%. GC2 is joined by a Wi Fi network. There we go. Now we'll give it a name. We'll just uh, say it's in the office. Select next. Turn my volumes down. And there we are. We have video. So let's pop us in a micro SD card. So I always use a class 10 micro SD card for cameras, like this 32 gigabyte here. This should work great. And we'll just slide it in the side. Looks like it goes this way. There we go, micro SD cards installed. So with the SD card installed, we're gonna go into the settings. So general settings is like your account information, audio video, rotate image, audio recording, camera on or off, LED indicator, detection notification. You can set up motion detection, so you'll get alerts, sensitivity zones, sound detection, 
We can have sound detection alerts. Sharing the camera, storage. Please subscribe or insert a micro SD card. It does see the micro SD card. Loop recording, only record detected event if turned off. So it's on loop recording. So that is uh, all set up and ready to go. Or you can use cloud storage. I would always recommend an SD card though. And then it does work with uh, Google Assistant and Alexa. So if you come into here, we would be able to tap this microphone to talk to the camera. You can of course hit this button to record a video. So that should start a recording. Says it up top. This is a daytime audio video test on the GNCC indoor camera. And then you hit that little button and now it has saved that video. Now this over here should take a photo, screenshot saved, and this would uh, unmute the camera. Well, that's it for around the app. I do want to use the microphone, so I'm gonna go into another room and try out the microphone so you can see how it sounds. This is a speaker test on the GNCC indoor camera. And so I should have a daytime video clip. The only other thing I can think to show you here is a nighttime video clip from this camera. And after that, that'll do it for this video. And this is a nighttime audio video test on the GNCC indoor camera. One of the great parts is it put these video clips right inside my Google Photos. Audio video test on the GNCC So they're already working on that. And that should do it for our little GNCC indoor camera. Now, personally, I love that they give you the option of an SD card as well as cloud storage, because honestly, in my opinion, SD is better. Also, the app seems very smooth. I didn't see any hiccups with the app. It seemed to record the videos when I needed to record them. It seemed to do exactly what it should. And the picture and sound quality from this little camera is actually pretty good. So truly, I think that this is great camera. I'll of course have this exact camera linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one of these GNCC indoor cameras for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.